everybody in. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, John. Uh, yeah, all we're seeing is your hands. Uh, and you're on mute. There we go. That's way better. All right. Letting people in. Uh, you're on mute, John. Mr. Roseboro Carroll, how are you? Still on mute. Still on mute. Uh, do I have it set to? Oh, I'm sorry. My fault. My fault. Okay, try again. Unmute. Muy bien, no me, no me puedo quejar, ¿y tú? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, yeah, no, can't believe it. Okay. Uh, I got to change the settings on these things. <laughs> All right, hello, everybody. Hola a todos. Oh, get my mucho glass. gusto verles. Okay. All right, it is happening. Dr. Danielle, how are you doing? God bless you. I'm well. How are you? I'm well too. What a great Good. response. God oh. bless you too. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. Thank you. Not many you. people say that. It's nice. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, good, good, good. Babu. Paula? Paula's trying to connect. She was in the waiting room for a while. Okay, Asanya, you made it. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hola. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hello. Hello. All right. Um, uh, people are still filing into the room. We're on. Uh, I don't, it's a joke, guys, but we're on Latino time. <laughs> it's a bad joke. It's a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> do apologize. I didn't think it was a joke. I just thought it was a statement of fact. <laughs> wow. Okay. Usario de Zoom. Who is that? Okay. Usuario. Usuario. <laughs> uh, it's been really interesting having my phone in a different language. So this is great, Carol. Talk, <laughs> talk about that. You changed your phone to yes, Spanish. Okay. I did. But and... they have a lot of challenges. Not only, uh, I think the GPS is the easiest thing because mm -hmm. I had the map in the car um, and I'm learning a couple of terms about, you know, merging and continuing. And they say, um, um, continuar durante cuatro millas. Instead mm -hmm. of four, um, mm -hmm. get a derecha, get mm -hmm. a izquierda. Um, but it's kind of interesting. But okay. the other thing is that, uh, that it also has changed. Like, do I have any instructions on the phone for, for some other thing? Like, I was trying to print out something from my phone. I mean, all the instructions are in Spanish. So, mm -hmm. like, it's. I'm never good with the computer anyway, but having it <laughs> that is like makes it even more challenging. Uh huh. But it's kind right. of fun. I haven't caused any real damage yet. Uh huh. Well, uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that are only available in English, and uh, so imagine all the Spanish speakers and Chinese speakers and French speakers who are have to read the English. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Good. I'm glad you're doing that. Anybody else changed their phone? <laughs> Nobody Spanish? else is crazy enough to do this kind of thing. No, no, no. It's very right common. It. No, it's I bet very common. Price wouldn't do it. Very common. Very common. Uh huh. Yeah. Bryce, su teléfono es es en inglés o en español? Uh, es en inglés. Es um. inglés. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Anna's? <laughs> no. Anna. 
<laughs> no, I, mean, I have a lot of stuff since I haven't switched the phone. I, I probably should, but I, mean, I have a lot of stuff you know, like on the computer and stuff in Spanish, but, mm -hmm. yeah. but not the phone. Anna, Asalia, do you guys, your phone's in English or Spanish? English. Good job. Anna? Mine used to be in English. Really doesn't matter. For me, English or Spanish is the same thing. Uh -huh. I have uh -huh. no problem with uh -huh. English. So. Anna has done 20 courses with just English speaking, just English materials, just English, whatever. So she doesn't care. Okay. I'm jealous. All right, uh, excellent, everybody. We wanna start uh, as always by seeing if there's any questions, problems, challenges that we can help you with. We want to help you move forward. Oh, okay, can you hear me? I have one. Sure, that sounds like Chet. Yes, yeah, si, gracias. Que quiere decir? Hoy me agarro la tarde. Okay, Anna, what does that mean? Hoy me agarró la tarde. It's, uh, a, it's a common, not this in my country, it's a common thing that we say when we are late. We are really late for something. Okay, so, uh, you know, in Chilingo, we have all the Chilingo stuff, but James has a company called Virtual Lunch Day. So we work uh, for clients and we help them to create their online business, info products, et cetera. Okay, that's what we do. So when we're, we have to balance our time with VOT and Chirlinga stuff. So mm -hmm. um, we were very, very busy today. And mm -hmm. I forgot all about this email. <laughs> And I apologize for that. I really, I always have that in my kind of early in the morning. But today it was just late. I was very focused on something else. So I was really late. And that it means, me agarro la tarde. It's like, oh my God, I'm late. I, I need to do this real quick. So, me agarro la tarde means I'm late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome, Chet. Excellent. Okay. Um... Yes, if anybody needs any help with online marketing in English or Spanish, we're here. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, could you explain to me why um, the K sometimes is translated as who in English, where we actually use the word who, Spanish says K, but it's translated as who. Uh-huh. Uh, because we don't do actually it, are you talking about k or qual i mean there's there's a few no, 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 like, no. questions but well, okay k and kien k and kien okay uh, sometimes i i see where the k is actually interpreted as who and in my mind in my english mind i'm thinking of i'm thinking of kien but they use k instead Okay, so fundamentally it comes down to um, it's not a literal translation. It's how we how we say something versus how a Spanish speaker says something. Uh, so it's not the word by word that the word K is literally translating into who. K does not ever mean who. But there are sentences where they form the sentence with what, just like we do, what is your name versus how do you call yourself versus who are you? Um, so the, the simplistic answer, Charlotte, is that literally they're saying something else, a different question. Um, if you give us an example of where you have seen K in a sentence, and, and where that makes you think of who? Do you have a specific example? Ahí anda la muchacha. Uh, yeah, I, um, okay, I have an example here. It says, um, así es la persona que llamó. Okay, so that K that you're seeing, 
right? The persona that called instead of who called. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? but, the, but they translated it as who. That's why I'm asking. And that's, so that's just, it's not a literal translation. It's a phrasal translation, so to speak. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a word for word translation. It's like in Spanish, la persona que llamó is how they say that sentence. Whereas in English, we say the person who called instead of saying the person that called. Okay, so how would we know as English speakers to change, uh, to leave it as K and not put it as Ken? Practice. Just, oh, you know, just being exposed to what is common in conversation. I don't know, I don't know of a rule that says in this setting you use K and not Ken. Uh, there probably is a rule. I just don't know it. I'm not a grammar geek. Um, but with practice, uh, you start to, um, something sounds right or does not sound right. And um, that literally that that is how I have been become more comfortable with when to use those differences. Just hearing Spanish speakers say something like, la persona que llamo. And then I, I just, okay, so that's how you say it. If, if uh, Bryce or Anna uh, has knows of a rule for why you use K, uh, I'd love to hear it. No, you get it right. Okay. Um, I'm sorry it's not more specific, Charlotte. It, it really is comes down to hearing the same thing over and over again to the point that it just sounds right. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Any other questions that I can mangle? <laughs> okay. Jump in, jump in. All right. Um, I do want to step into the examples as quickly as possible and answer as many as we can. I do have an announcement I don't want to forget, but I'll probably do it at the end. It's about the Connect app. Um, curious how many people have tried the connect app have have used it you're comfortable with it well no i know it okay uh, it works Not, for me okay when somebody else um schedules the call okay. um you only have one chance and if i do it wrong then it says you've made too many calls okay i will we can explain that there's a training thing um if I you did, push I trained already i still can't do it Okay, don't push okay. the red. Okay, the, the short on. answer, short answer, Carol is. I'll talk to you. Uh, I'll text yeah, you. Yeah, we can we can do it. But the short answer, in case anybody else has experienced it, is you start a call, you have a call, do not push the red button until you're like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to do that call anymore. Ever. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to reconnect. You just close the screen and open the screen again. You do not push the red button. It's pretty much as simple as that, but I'd be happy to, to do it with you. Okay. Okay, fine. Okie dokie. Um, but we'll have an announcement about Connect here pretty soon. All right. Uh, Bryce, you have some interesting sentences here today. Anna was laughing her head off. Yes, um, what I did is, um, okay, I lost my train of thought there for a second. Okay. <laughs> what Are those heats is... for me? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, get, the word get, you know, in English, get is used in different ways. Um, so, of course, the, you know, this examples of get in English, you know, of course, the challenge for Spanish speakers is knowing the different times you have to use get and then of course for English speakers knowing that there are multiple verbs that you use in different situations of saying get you know mm -hmm. so so basically it's just get excellent uh get is one of the most common words used in phrasal verbs uh so so this is great I bet you could do a whole book on get and, well there's and, 
Yeah, well, there's definitely a lot, like I did twenty examples, but there's a there's quite a few more examples. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see if I can find the correct uh, share here. All right, can everybody see the Bryce's examples here on the screen? <clears throat> Nope. Nunca te cansas. Nunca te cansas. And I say no. We never get tired. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. That's my favorite. Somebody example. somebody <laughs> tell me, okay, somebody translate this. What does it mean? I'll try it. Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, good. Um, never be tired. Do you never get tired of being stupid or, or <laughs> acting stupid? That sounds so bad. I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> you ever get tired of uh, acting stupid? Does that sound I think right? That's doing stupid. Doing oh, stupid doing, ah, uh, okay. Do you ever get tired of doing stupid things? That is interesting. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. can you read the, the Spanish? I don't think you ever, can you read the Spanish example? Nunca te cansas de hacer estupideces. Estupideces. Estupideces, thank you. Estupideces. Yeah. Mm hmm no yeah, that structure up. right there is you know that's a good structure too do you ever get tired of working so much nunca te cansas ah. de trabajar tanto you know you can just ah. all kinds of stuff you can do so cansas is um like a derivative of descansar <laughs> like a shortened version of descansar to rest well just it's like it. it's like tired but it's like you yourself get tired of of whatever it is they Oh, okay. Thank you. Cons wow. Cansarse de. Cansarse de. Oh, okay. It's reflexive. Got it. Okay. Thank you. And of course, that one is one of those ones where it's, it's, it's you ever, but it's, in this case, it's nunca, which it looks like it would look like never, but it translates to ever. Ever, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. So this has to do, we've been over and over this uh double negative thing that we don't do uh, Anne and i came up with uh, a great use in english of a double negative when it's appropriate and proper today anna do you want to what did we say today <laughs> i said i said i don't work for Nothing. I said I don't work for anything. <laughs> because the double negative thing, okay? But the right thing to say was I don't work for nothing. And exactly, I don't work for nothing. So that's a good example. Yeah. yeah. So it was a good reminder that when you know that's... how to use the double negative, then just forget <laughs> it because you might be wrong. So. <laughs> it's yep. it's uh it's a pretty unique structure. But yeah, uh, and I was trying to explain to Anna because it means because I, I don't waste my time. I don't work for nothing, right? Uh, work for nothing equals waste my time. But it still sounds like we're using a double negative, which we all know in English is like, nah. So, but it was fun. And uh, yeah, so anyway, thank you, Anna. Okay, uh, here's a good one for me because <laughs> I'm terrible I go off on tangents all the time uh, who would like to translate that to Spanish <clears throat> deja mm -hmm. Bob go ahead oh man <laughs> I can't come up with it Okay. I'm not speaking yeah. well I'm today so far. that's all right my, my, my almost can you use the word llegar? Llegamos no. al... Um, Vamos al punto. De, deja, no? Let's, uh, Doug, what were you saying? I think you were there. Vamos al punto. 
let's see what Anna puts in here. It's like uh, it's it's like, like the get Jeopardy. To the grain. Dun, 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 Think of dun. it as getting to the grain. Or grain grano. Oh, vayamos. 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 Grano, grano. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job, Doug. You 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 got that by Yamos, mm -hmm. right? Because we may or may not get to the point, right? I, I know. And that's it's one a, of those ones that doesn't translate exactly literally, you know, the point doesn't mm -hmm. it's to get to the seed, get to get to the grain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Think of that little grain of dust or grain of sand. Let's get to the point. Let's get to the okay that's good that's fun all right <clears throat> this one should be relatively easy for a lot of people maybe i'll try if it's relatively easy okay. Donde ese auto? um well you could say where did you buy that that car but you could say where did you get that car because we're studying get right yes, right where did you get? Right. Okay. So this is another great example of not literal word for word translation. Um, because mm -hmm. we can use get to mean buy, right? Mm -hmm. Where did you get that car? Right. Literally. Spanish speakers, where did you buy that car too? Mm-hmm. Yes. Where did you where but, did you buy, buy that car? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, okay. All right. Good, good. Okay. And <laughs> so donde compraste? Where did you buy? Right. You can use that with a thousand other examples. Where did you buy that blouse? Where did you buy those pants? Where did you buy the ice cream? Donde compraste? Right? Sink, sink that in. All right. And use I, other verbs too, if you guys get a chance. Mm -hmm. Where did you find? You know, donde encontraste? You know, just whatever verb too. Mm hmm. Uh, that contraction is new for me. Word apostrophe T is the mm -hmm. word did. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's it's slang, kind of slang. Okay, oh, I, it's the first yeah. time that I see where word did or where did you? I I wrote it this way, Anna, because get is pretty colloquial. You know, the proper way is to say, where did you buy that car? But when I'm talking fast to somebody, I'm going to say something like, where'd you get that car? Where'd where did you, you get, get that suit? <laughs> uh -huh. Where'd you? Where'd you? Where'd you? Mm -hmm. That's what we say in New and Jersey. Where'd you? What are those? Yeah. In fact, I might write that, um, but I want it to. Wow. This is. How would you spell it? <laughs> I don't know if I should even put that in the document. It, I don't know. It's a... But but people will hear it. Um, where'd you get that car when we say it fast? Hey, Bryce, where'd you get that hat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, you know, well, you know, it's, it's interesting that you, you put that example because, you know, uh, there's like like ads for uh, just teach English and they say speak English like a pro a pro uh or what do you want to what what you want to well, it says something like yeah uh-huh uh what do you want to get <laughs> or what you want to get today what you what you you could uh, also say with Bryce's hat why'd you get that hat <laughs> why'd you why'd what? you <laughs> uh-huh Okay. This is my last contribution. <laughs> you can thank God for that. Carol, Carol's on one today. She's on. Uh -huh. She's on well, I had a little. Well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Get there. Get there. Sure. Jump in. <laughs> Daniel, go ahead. Just chip. Everybody, just feel free to chip in, and we'll talk over <laughs> each other. If it gets too uh, chaotic, then I'll pick on one person. Okay, I'll try again. Um, 
Quiero llegar ahí a tiempo. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say, oh, I don't have to say I, I, yeah, or I. You can if you, if you, uh, oh, okay. if you like I, to. Okay. You, you can or you don't have to. Either one is. Yeah. Okay. Quiero it's because, llegar. and the reason you for that. Quiero, okay. Huh? Oh, okay. uh, no, you don't say quiero que okay, if you were no? talking you about want you want somewhere yeah. else to okay. get there. Like, oh. I want you to get there on time. Quiero que llegues a tiempo. Mm -hmm. Or just with you yourself for the subject. Um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't use gay. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can, you can, quiero okay, que, I want that you do something, that something mm -hmm. else happens, that, mm -hmm. okay. But I want to arrive. And so that's, that's the thing, Danielle, is that, you know, think of this get there as meaning arrive. So I want to arrive, right? And so that's, that kind of says, I don't need there. I just, I want to arrive on time. Okay. That's implied because I want to arrive. And it, it, basically, I'm trying to say that get there is a phrasal verb meaning arrive as opposed to there being a specific location. Thank you. And that is confusing because maybe I mean to say, I want to get to the hospital. I want to get to my job. I want to get there on time. And that would be when you do want to say allí. Right? Yeah. Thank you for the explanation. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Let me try this one. <clears throat> With okay, so, okay, so frase que me uso mucho. No lo <laughs> <Okay>. entiendo. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> that's right. That's it. <laughs> I don't... Okay. Para los hispanohablantes, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> See, get it to understand. Entiendo. Mm -hmm. it, this. You were gonna say something, James. I was gonna say, Bryce, these are great. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, no, uh, no. I wanted to say, I wanted to say something just about this example, real quick. You know, sometimes you know you tell somebody, get it. You know, like like I've seen someone yeah. talking one time said, I don't, I don't need your help. Get it. You know, no necesito tu ayuda. Entiéndelo. You know, so, you know, it can be used like that, too. Oh. But it's like you're telling them that, you know, you're you're commanding them to understand it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Huh. Meaning, do you understand, right? <clears throat> so for you is a question uh, well the get it the get it is a question like do you okay. get it are you listening to me get it you know mm -hmm. it's kind of has that feeling no I mean uh, what is interesting is the structure that for you is a yeah. question but for us it's an affirmation yes yeah that's a, that's that's one reason why I mentioned that one because it's it's a if the translation in English mm -hmm. is more like a question, but in Spanish, it's more of a, like you said, an affirmation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Get it? Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. Would it be correct to say comprendes? Also, do you understand? Do you get it? Do you comprendes? Can you say that? Is that okay to say that? Comprende. Comprende. Ah, okay. But it's. Oh. So that's still an imperative as opposed to a question? Yes, yes, yes. that's what we were, we were Interesting. Talking about. Well, before that, for you, that's what I say. That's, is that a question? And you say yes, but for us, it's an affirmation because otherwise, it, the way that Bryce said that, because otherwise, he will say, lo entiendes, lo comprendes, but he said, entiendelo, like an affirmation. But you... Good 
Very good. Wow. Maybe we should maybe we should write that. Um uh wow, okay. Uh this is really really good. Um lo entiendes? Lo comprendes? Okay, you can help me out. Then it's a question. <clears throat> or where so this is awesome because it's it's really illustrating uh you know we all have these question marks about if we <laughs> put the low in the big at the beginning or the low at the end, right? And this is a great example of how that difference between it being at the beginning and the end actually causes a, a bit of a change into uh, how it's received on the other end. Excellent. Yeah, yes. really, really good. Knowing the end is a lot nicer. <laughs> right. Then, you know, get that into your head, son. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, which I may have said to my son on a pay on occasion <laughs> okay <laughs> right okay uh if you want a scholarship you need to get good grades <clears throat> get good grades and 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 bryce do you mind if i throw in to get into this uh first part if you want um, get, yeah, yeah, I mean, if you want to, that's fine. If you want to get a scholarship, you need to get good grades. You can basically use the same verb for both of those, for both oh, yeah. parts of that. Good infinitives. Si quieres una beca, necesitas sacar buenas notas. ¿Cómo? Si quieres mm. una beca, necesitas sacar buenas notas. Mm. Good job. So, si quieres una beca. So, that's without the get. That's, it. you know, if you want a scholarship. Right. Una beca, una beca. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and uh, it's okay, Anna. I'll I'll just take out the first to get. <laughs> okay, leave it the way Bryce had it. It's yeah. Si quieres una beca, perfect. Okay, Charlotte. <clears throat> so if you want a car, sacar. Uh -huh. I, oh, the only thing. Um... That I know to use the word I know to use that is is saca la basura. Mm -hmm. But I don't know uh, how to use it otherwise. You can use okay. a lot of people use it in this in this uh, in this example. Saca, saca buenas notas. Or uh, yeah, saca, get, draw, bring out, extract. Depend on the context, I guess. In Spanish is very common. Like um, um no quiero sacar a relucir mis problemas. It's a very common thing. No quiero, you know, it's I, I don't want to expose my problems. I don't want to sacar a relucir. Um, for example, would be a way to use uh sacar, um make emphasis of something. Um or for example, you can hear. Uh, uh, ella está sacando a sus hijos adelante. It means um, raising her kids. That that's what we come for a single mom. Oh, it's for raising your kids. Yeah, sacar adelante. Yeah, sacar adelante. Oh, yes. Um, that will be another way to use it, uh, like to educate. Um. um uh, for example, you can say, necesito sacar más tiempo. 
it will be like expand or somehow get more time. So those are ways to use uh, Saka. Thank you. So, You're welcome. Yeah. So in, in this case, it really is get good grades. You need to get good grades, not bring out, extract, draw out, pull out, bring out. Right. It, it's it's get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is good. Mm. <clears throat> Esos tipos son malas influencias. Uh, Raquel, I see you hiding in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Esos tipos son malas influencias. Necesitas alejarte de ellos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, those guys influences. are bad influences. 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 Yeah. Yeah. influences. Yeah. Um, you you need. Uh, here we need to use get. No, you need. You need to get to get to get that weight from them. Yes, get get away. Yes. Get away, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I want to point something out. Um, <clears throat> uh, not about get. Uh, I want to point something out about punctuation here. It's, I think this is a good opportunity for talking about this punctuation and the difference in Spanish. In English, these are two separate thoughts, and it's not appropriate to connect these thoughts with a comma unless you have a connecting word, so you, therefore, or something like that. But phrased as it is, we need a period because uh, there is no connectors, right? So those guys are bad influences or are a bad influence or however you wanna say it, that's a thought. And then there's a separate statement, you need to get away from them. Okay, so, and, the, and, and we don't have so you need to get away from them. Mm -hmm. But in Spanish, it's very common to connect separate thoughts with a comma. And it's going to take some getting used to. But don't be surprised if you're reading some very long sentences that seem to be separate paragraphs. thoughts. <laughs> paragraphs. You can, you can see paragraphs that are all connected with common, commas because those thoughts are related to each other. Okay, and it's not wrong. It's a different grammatical structure. Okay. Uh, okay, just something to be aware of. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, but also, in English, <clears throat> uh, ustedes dice comma. Coma. 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 No es correcto usar un coma aquí en este uh, ejemplo. En inglés necesitas, necesitas conectores coma. como entonces, sin embargo, mediante, etc. Sí, sí, pero ok. There's no connectors, you need to separate the sentences. There's no have primary and secondary En español. No, no tienen uh, oración principal y oración secundaria. Ellos tienen oraciones um, simples, no compuestas. Sí, gracias. Get down, get down. <laughs> oh, I want to I wanna play that song. Yeah, you should. <laughs> okay, get down from there. Bajate de allí. Mm -hmm. You sound very nica. Bajate. <laughs> Bajate. <laughs> Bajate de Bajate. 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 Uh 
<laughs> okay. Um, which is different than Jungle Boogie. Get down, get down. Get down. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh man, that was a good song. Okay, part of my generation. Uh, <laughs> so, negatividad. Deprime. I'll try it. <laughs> So um, the negativity is getting to me, or I don't know if it's going to be your his or her. Okay, his or her. Okay. Could it also be formal, like if you're saying something to someone that's in higher authority? Su negatividad. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. You say so. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, gets to me. Or how did Trust you me. how do you how do you phrase this, Bryce? Is it you gets know, to me? I, is getting was, to me? Is... I was thinking about what I did is like your, his negativity brings me down. His negativity gets me down. But I don't like it. Brings me down is probably more common than gets me down. <laughs> but but no. we're gonna stay you with know. gets. Okay. Yeah, that's what. But I did it because gets. That's how you translate gets. You know. Mm -hmm. And and I would I would say that's absolutely common. It gets me down. You know, yeah. hard days get me down. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do want to invite anybody else that wants to participate. Feel free to jump in. This is a wonderful place to make mistakes. Okay. <laughs> Don't don't be embarrassed to make mistakes. We are all doing it. This is a great place to get comfortable with those mistakes in a very supportive place. All right. Uh, okay. When are they going to get back? When are they going to get back? Yeah, great. Yeah, Doug. And they burn it. Yeah, so easy when Doug says it. Could you, could you say also <laughs> say, Cuando regresan? Cuando van a regresar. Yes, you can use that also. Van a regresar. Okay, I, are you asking Carol about? No, I was just like asking the... if you could use that. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can use both of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In this instance, yeah. Okay. And it's they, <laughs> so it's van. So I know we do have some beginners in the room. So notice the conjugation. So cuando van, V-A-N. That's the uh, that's the third person plural. That's the them conjugation of ir. Voy, vas, va, vamos, van. Okay. Cuando would you ever regresarán? Or is that just well future? I don't know. Anna, would you say cuando regresarán? Okay. Yes, we, we can say that, but then <laughs> in English it's like going to yeah, when it cannot be translated like <laughs> regresarán, so because like, it's like will. Yeah, and all they Carol that that what you so this example is why often you will hear spanish speakers say something like when you will return as a question and so we have to help say when will you return when are you going to return um it, it's a really good point and it's it's how we can help each other about about what's common. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Okay. So yes, you can hear that. But it but it doesn't mean are when are you going? It, are you when going you to return? return? No, it's not the right. Same. And we don't well we don't really have that construction in English. When 
future return, <laughs> you know? It, it, we, so we have to add the word, will you? Which but is in just, Spanish, it, it, they, don't have, they don't have a word for will, actually, do they? I mean, they just, they do it grammatically. So, except right. when you use bana, ba, a, basa, whatever. Going to, right. That's yeah. an easy so, way to do future, yeah. They have going to, but they don't have exactly the same will you. You know, but you they, referred to that as third that... part. It's will oh, or won't, depending. Mm -hmm. Say that again, Bob. You know, you um, referred to that as third person in Spanish. Wouldn't third person be he, she, it? Yes, and this is they. This is they. So he, she, it, but plural is they mm -hmm. or them or right well, okay. talking to a, i've never talking thought of it group, that way if you're talking to a group of people and you just use when are you got like basically when are you guys going to return okay so bob he she it is the first person mm -hmm. and then it's third, they, it's third person isn't it third, first i'm sorry he she it is, yes you're so third person singular i apologize oh, singular. Okay, he okay. she he she it is third person singular they them is third person plural oh i never realized there was a per plural thing to do that just i like, guess so just like cool. i i is first person singular we is first person plural oh, okay it's that kind of you think of the i've position. never thought of it that way you don't Excellent. need to think of it just don't even <laughs> think about it don't even think of it okay okay unless somebody says it 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 it's yeah. it's good for you to understand it but don't dwell on it okay, okay? all right all right cuando <laughs> vas a regresar uh cuando regresarán okay get back i think this is what we're talking about though this is the the key to today's you know lesson is get get back <clears throat> Okie dokie. Numero once. Does everybody know their numbers? Sí. We are practicing yeah. numbers this week in uh, the other group, and uh, everybody has to do their numbers. Numeros. Muy importante. Yes. Um, study a lot um, in order to get ahead in life. This is good. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be writing. <laughs> now remember, we need a subject. All right. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, this was a bit more of as a he or she. Okay. So, el o, e, el o or ella. El o ella. Well, I mean, so, you can say, yeah, you can use it. As a command to uh, right, so so if it's he or she studies, right, studies a lot, or it it can also mean like the the imperative. Like and we like can an also order? say study lots. It is okay. <laughs> study lots. Um. All right, that's also muy común. Study a lot or study lot be, lots. Yeah. Para los hispanos, study a lot or study lots. Estudia mucho. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Ellos, ellos trabajan. Can I get, um, ask a question about, I think it was number three. Um, sure, let me go back. That is the compraste, know. donde compraste? Uh, yeah, uh, oh, uh, number four, excuse me, it was number four. Mm -hmm. um, Llegar. Can, me um why they're subjunctive is it because I'm, I'm i'm looking for like doubts or uh, the reasons that you would use um subjunctive is that because well so 
There's a trigger. There's a trigger word there. There's a trigger word that you want something, right? So that is automatic doubt because you don't always get what you want, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Amen to that. Mm -hmm. So that that trigger word, want, I want to get there on time. That's what you want, but you may or may not get there on time. Oh. So that that's kind of the thing. Go ahead, Bryce. Well, that, well, well she, she's talking she's talking about the K, you know, if I want to get there on time, you know, oh, okay, just, that's not a subjunctive. That for me, that's not a subjunctive. If I say I want well, to get is, there on time, that, it's just but you want someone else to get there on time. I want you to get there on time. Yeah. Right. And that's it's a, it's subjunctive. Because and, and explain that further, Bryce. Why? is I want, not subjunctive, but I want you to, is subjunctive. Well, you you want someone else to do something. Um, it, I mean, there's no guarantee that they're going to do it. Um, you know, that yeah, basically there's no guarantee that they're going to do it. But I will also say, just so, just to not dig too deep into it, whenever you want, just to simplify, whenever you want someone else to do something, I want you to cook. I want whatever it is, it's it's going to be subjunctive. You know, whatever you want someone, you want them to do something. I, you know, you want him to, or her to do something. It's always going to be quiero que, and that automatically will make it subjunctive. But of course, with yourself, it's just one subject. So you don't change it. You know, you, you know, you want, you know, I want to see you quiero verte. You know, um, you know, I want to cook whatever it is it's, it's just a that's just a uh so it, infinitive yeah it's very it's very confusing because the first one in this in this example because the first one also quiero llegar a, a tiempo but still there's no guarantee that you can be on time there that's why it might be like is it subjunctive or not you know mm -hmm. um so, but oh. basically, if it's about someone else, then it's objective yeah. and no yeah. doubt. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I was going to say this along those lines, um, kind of think of it as uh, if you, if you want to dig that deep into it, you know, I have more control over me getting there than someone else getting there. You know, you know, I want to go there. I don't, I like, I'm not, you know, I'm not telling myself, I'm not commanding myself to get there, you know, so. <laughs> I mean, I mm -hmm. then you're going to refuse. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I want to do something. I'm yeah, like I'm going to refuse. Hey, if I want to cook, I'm going to cook. You know, if I want you to cook, you might say no. I'm not cooking nothing. I'm not cooking anything. <laughs> well, you know, I, I mean, um, somehow with that, okay, because every morning it's like I have to get up. I want to get up, but I don't get up. <laughs> it takes me some time to do that. So. You need to help oh, yeah. me with that. Mm -hmm. You're getting up yep. too early. Mm -hmm. Just remember. Just no, you're mind. going to bed too late. The single, if it's a single, <laughs> uh, if it's a single subject, like for example, if I said he wants to get there on time, I would say el. Well, you don't have to say el, but quiere llegar a tiempo because it's just one subject. Mm -hmm. but okay, they good. want to get there on time. Quiere llegar a tiempo. It's just, it's just, it's, it's the same subject. See, oh. well, that's interesting. Some of the subjunctive phrases are like, yes, yeah, simple, like, no, no, have, no. Have, like have a good day or, or um, it's mm -hmm. possible that, you know, things like that are kind of obvious, but okay. I mean, I, like, thank you. I learned something. Oops. I appreciate that. Thank you for the question. That was a really good discussion. A good question. Mm hmm okay let's try and squeeze one or two more in here someone had to do it Doug can you do it <laughs> which where are we Number you twelve. Work. Number twelve. You work hard to get ahead. It's probably this is probably a little tough. Mm. You work hard. Let's take it little by little. 
work hard. They work hard. I can so try I, it. Uh, try yeah. it. Try it. I can try it. Um, um, Trabahan, um, Dura, um, conseguir adelante de la competición. Duro, para. Oh, okay, I didn't get para. So, um, I also hear people, I've also seen people say adelantarse a la competencia. And just remember on the 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 first on the verb is trabajan, not, you don't want to say trabajan, it's trabajan. Oh, I, I didn't, oh, I'm, okay, maybe I just did try. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, so um adelantarse is um okay, I know that's to get ahead, but that's the verb to get ahead, but why is it reflexive? Well they themselves want to get ahead, you know, they is there a, a there's a verb adelantar as well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes. They work hard to get ahead of the competition. Mm -hmm. Wow, there's a good adelantarsele. Adelantarsele. Wow. Must be from Madrid. From Madrid, okay. <laughs> That's the okay. That one, that one's better. Adelantarsele. I'm having problems with that word because um, adelantar, adelantarsele, la competencia. It's um, I don't think. Adelantarsele. Adelantarsele. No, yes, adelantarsele. Yeah, that's right. Adelantarsele. Adelantarsele. It was right. Adelantarsele de la competencia. Adelantarsele de la competencia. Adelantarsele de la competencia. Adelantarsele los hechos. Adelantarsele de la competencia. That's how I... Adelantarsele de la competencia. Adelantarsele de la competencia. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Asalia, you're very quiet today. You haven't said anything. Listening is very interesting. <laughs> trece. Número trece. Okay. The things are getting worse before they get better, is that correct? Very close, very things close. Are, oh, yeah, that's Those things. Close. The things are, thing, or oh, things are going to things get better. Right. You can oh. just say things are going to get better before they get worse. I mean, things are going to get worse before they get better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Before they improve. So will, <clears throat> and, or you can say, um, will or are going to things will get worse or things are going to get worse so ban is more like are going to mm -hmm. but in english you will in fact i will go ahead and then split that out into two different examples um <clears throat> It's, it's very common to say things will get worse before they get better. And you will also hear people say it's not correct, but you'll hear people say gonna. Things are gonna. When you're saying something like this, a phrase. It's not. Things are, things are gonna get worse before they get better. Uh, we don't encourage that, but you need to hear it. Okay. Going to. Thank try you. to try to say going to instead of gonna. All right. 
Everybody else says gonna. Why should she have to say going to? <laughs> because there's there's good reasons, Carol. It's like si yo voy a México, voy a tratar de hablar eh, sin acento, si es posible. Yo voy a hablar muy claro, porque a veces ellos no me entienden, ¿verdad? Pero if ella, si ella viene a New Jersey, es mejor que ella dice... <laughs> Va a entender mejor <laughs> si ella dice gonna y no going to en New Jersey. Sí. Ok. Mucho sí. easy. Muy bien, muy bien. Ok. <laughs> We have to do this one. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the task. Confirm your screen. One. <laughs> yeah. What? Number 14, 14. <laughs> Um, use try and use this with your girlfriend. <laughs> See how yeah, that right. goes. See how it goes. Not well. <laughs> or it, or try. It's time to get over it. Superalo o necesita superarlo. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, oh, now just just on a note, in, in uh, she's exactly right about the translation. Superar, superar is a verb that it can kind of be used. Well, it's kind of negative when you tell somebody to get over it, but you can also use it to say overcome something. Mm -hmm. That's how I have heard it in the past. You you need to get you need to get past this problem. You need to um, conquer this problem. Nobody. Superar. Superar. Surmount. Surmount. That's a great word. Who said that? Bob. Bob said surmount. I love that. <laughs> that is that is a, you a gotta go positive. Beyond, you got to go beyond it. That's a positive translation. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get over it. It's pretty negative, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's, what I, that's why I was saying think? try it with your yeah. girlfriend. I think so. Yeah. 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 I like cry, cry near a river. Build a bridge. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Notice that in Spanish they only need two words to say this sentence. Yeah, we have right. one, two, three, four, five. Two uh -huh. Great. Oh, all right. You guys are excellent. All right. Um, okay. I want to throw in an announcement. I know everybody's been here for a while, but um, I do want to make sure that everybody has had a chance to try. I'm going to stop sharing. Um, so we have this app that we just launched. It's taken six or seven months for us to build it. Uh, it's still early days. We're just letting it out to our trusted community. It's not out in the public yet. It's called Connect. It is one app with one purpose, and that is to have the best practice sessions possible. Okay. And I know you can use Zoom. But uh, in the Connect app, it provides a video call with your partner and the materials, and it steps you through the materials like English speakers should read, Spanish speakers should read, English speaker translates, Spanish speaker translates, all that, those steps. It guides you both step by step. I want everybody to get a chance to try it for free. And mm -hmm. give us feedback and all that stuff. But those days are about to come to an end. Um, and so uh, please jump in there, take advantage of getting it, getting familiar with it, use it uh, while, while we are subsidizing it um, so that you have that opportunity. Uh, when this trial or this test comes to an end, we are going to offer all of you, our dear friends, um, kind of a founder's rate, which will be like half price. Um, that's gonna come out in the next week or two, day or two, perhaps, uh, the offer. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna take care of you. Um, we do have to charge something because the technology has a cost on the back end for, to provide sure. the video, to provide everything, to make the connections happen. Uh, but, uh, really, the purpose is to um, help you all have the best practice sessions possible, 
right? Because that's that's what we do. And then you become friends and the world's a better place. And yeah. okay. All right. So jump in there if you need any help. There's several people on the team that can help you. David, Asalia, I can I will be happy to help you if I can, you know, open up a or if we can set a time. Uh, but um, <clears throat> happy to have a call with you. Okay. I really like the way the lessons are set up because you can go, you know, really easy or a lot harder, which is really, uh, you know, um, makes you work hard, which is wonderful. It so makes you think. That's, that's been great. Good. Right. It's got uh, so you can create the the app will make bilingual mm -hmm. materials for you, right? So if you pick a concept, climb Mount Everest, okay, it will make you some bilingual materials for climbing Mount Everest at beginner, basic, intermediate, and advanced levels. Yes. Can you get this on your computer and your iPhone? Yes, you can. And you okay. can you and can what do is it, it called again? And your Galaxy games? phone. <laughs> and your and your Android. Absolutely. And your Android phone. <laughs> Absolutely. We prefer Android. No. Um, yes, you can. And one person can be on a computer and the other person on a phone or a tablet. Uh, it does all of that kind of mixing up and stuff. Um, yes, the, it's called Connect Chat. Okay. Um, Share Lingo Connect. Uh, That's okay. actually, I can, one of the, one of the huge advantages to this, um, especially when, when you're practicing, I'm on my computer all the time, right? But the people that I practice with were on a phone. Um, and it makes it really difficult to to share materials or to use the same materials and with zoom this, right this yeah with zoom or without something like this um where this just you know cutting straight straight through this gives you everything that you need um and then jay i was just going to say um i'm sorry james is jay to me because that's how he was when we grew up um <laughs> but uh the there was a new release today right so um if you have not used it today uh there are some really wonderful things um that the development team actually released today so i would suggest that everybody jump in and, and have a look all right I, yeah to add a question is there <clears throat> any way to, to schedule it i'll say you say i have uh, decided to have a conversation with um well diana at eight well mm -hmm. eight my time five her time so is there any way that i can schedule that in advance or do i have to wait to the, the last minute to try to get a phone call currently not uh it's the same as whatsapp if you wanted to say to diana hey let's talk to each other at eight o'clock on thursday yeah, but on, how do I do on whatsapp yeah, but how do i do it how do i do it on the on the app no, you, we don't have a schedule in advance feature oh, inside oh, oh, the okay. app yet. Okay. We do not. Okay. okay. There's, uh, I'll open up. <clears throat> so just like with WhatsApp, um, it's like, okay. But remember, there's a resource, Carol, for scheduling a call. Like we have a, a PDF that you can use to schedule a call uh, that I hope everybody has or has gotten. We can get it to you if you don't have it. Uh, how to schedule a call and it's got all the days and the times and the do you want to practice or I'm sorry I have to work that day whatever uh, but Carol it's it's like okay um, you say to Raquel uh, Raquel do you want to check practice on Thursday Raquel says yes you say do you want to call me or should I call you and then on Thursday at eight o'clock one mm -hmm. of you just one person does the connect call just like with whatsapp or zoom or whatever one person makes the call the other one answers if you both call mm -hmm. then connect's not going to know which one has priority now as the community grows i, I, I want to open up connect real quick we, I'm sorry that I'm not good at this. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, no, nobody's dropping off, so I think other people are interested too. Yeah, Carol, um, you're not alone. <laughs> okay. So as as the community grows, 
and we have a hundred or five hundred or a thousand uh, people within our connect community. And I anticipate that someday we'll have a million people in the community. People need this, need right? Um, when we are anticipating that when you schedule a call, um, we are going to have uh, these, these time zones. Right now we have two time zones uh, where on, on Thursdays at 5 p.m. and on Tuesdays at 5 p.m., uh, we're going to be creating like these time slots where English and Spanish speakers can just arrive at those times and the system will pair you up. But if you did that today at five o'clock, there's probably not any Spanish speakers waiting for you to get paired up with, right? We need to get the volume of people for mm -hmm. that to make sense. In the meantime, we want to make it as easy as possible for you to invite your friends to practice and make a lot of friends and just say, yeah, we want to do that. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> you'll see that under <laughs> your scenarios, uh, it in, in this option, it used to only show your the scenarios that you made. But one of the updates today, thank you, Steve, uh, is that under your scenarios, you can now access all of the public scenarios. Mm. And if anybody has ideas for oh. scenarios you think everybody would like to see, uh, we'll make one for you. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> There's, uh, is there any way? Okay, so we do the scenario and we don't get everything right in the translation mm -hmm. and would like to practice some of those phrases again. Is there any way? Oh. To, um, I mean, one of your things was your flashcards, but I'm not sure how to do any of that. Mm -hmm. So when you make your own scenario, it will create a, the a flashcard deck for oh, you. Will. Okay. So that you can practice those phrases before you go and do your practice session with your partner. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, so if I select something, you know, for tomorrow, um, I'm going to be talking with Raquel with any luck. <laughs> right. And so I can choose it. I could choose a um, a scenario now and practice the vocabulary or not. Yes. If you created really? the scenario. So if I created if, it, so I would have to create it. If you create the scenario, then it will make flashcards for you. And um, these are your, here. these are, I don't understand. These are your scenarios, right? These, Tell are me. these are scenarios that I have made. Uh -huh. Okay. So there's flashcards. And if I get into these, sorry, let's edit the card. If I go into study, then the flashcards, we can help you choose based on the weather and season. How do you say that in Spanish? Um, How about? Yo, uh, hey, okay. Podemos ayudarte. Podemos. Okay. Ayudarte a elegir basado en el clima y las temporadas. Right. So that's the flashcard concept. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea is before you go practice this deck, this scenario, you can kind of test yourself or you can come back and test yourself over and over again. Um, mm, cool. uh, now, for the public scenarios, <coughs> We don't have flashcards for the public scenarios, but you can still open up the public scenario. I'm on discovering your host country. Let's choose the basic level. Mm -hmm. And we have an offline practice mode. So if you choose to, if you want to, you can go into offline mode and step through the steps just like you would if or you will when you're actually in the practice session. And so if you're looking at this phrase, you can you can peek and see El what it baile means. Popular, es muy popular. Mm -hmm. Folk dancing is very popular. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've used up enough of people's time. Oh, uh, I thought that was great. But, thank you so much. But, but thank you for watching. Um, the main thing I wanted to get out before everybody left is... Uh, right now you can try it. Uh, if you have not tried it yet, jump in. Um, David's not on the call today, 
but Asalia is, and David can also help. Um, when okay. Do, when we have the paid for version, um, will there be more opportunities to ha have a conversation during the day? I think we're limited to you can one. Yeah, you can choose. You should not be limited so to one right now. Yeah, um, oh, well. Okay. I'll, you, I'll check, but okay. uh, yes. Well, maybe. There, there are there are levels for one call per day, two calls per day, and we have a professional level that's all the way up to like ten calls per day. I, that, that's intended for like private tutors and teachers. Mm -hmm. um, but remember, Carol, that like say that you and Raquel each have Connect. You can call her, and then she can call you. So you could have two calls a day, or you could have a. You could call Raquel and then Asalia could, could call you. But if you want to make two calls per day, there is a level that supports that. And we we would love you to have that. Well, I tried to make the call and then I, I failed to make the call. So then I told that I'm told that I can't make another call. Anyway, I'm wasting yeah, if too you much push, time if you, time so we can It's okay. Oh, I, I want to I I do want to explain that. Okay. If anybody would like to drop off, I, we absolutely understand. I, I don't want to take everybody's whole day with this, but I'm really proud of it. Um, but Carol, if if you go into a call, hmm. it allocates that time slot, mm -hmm. right? And if you push the red button, then it says, okay, I finished the call and your time slot is used up. Okay. Whereas if one of you has bad Wi-Fi or you want to try and reconnect or you want to try and change your camera or do something and then connect again, that call connection has already been connected. It's been created. And so what you can do is just close the window. I did not push the red button. I just closed the window. And then when you come back, uh, into connect it will see that you have a call that's in process with somebody else and it'll connect you again hmm. okay we might be able to make that better but that's how it is today okay very good awesome anna uh is there anything else asalia either one anything else we should say about connect today or have I talked too much? I know Anna's trying to kick me under the table. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> All right. And it was very important. That's what one of the questions that Bryce asked me the other day. I was going to explain that to him, but thank you. <laughs> now I don't have to. <laughs> Okay. Now he knows how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Asalia, anything else important about the Connect app? So if you want to practice, I'm here to help. So send me a message and I'm here. Great. We're good. All right, everybody. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Sorry it took, sorry I went so far over the time, but thanks for listening. Um, this was a great get. I mean, get is a great word for everybody to know. Okay, thank you, Bryce. Um, and thank you, Anna, as always. Okie dokie. Uh, Gracias, amigos. Adios. Adios. Actually, one more thing. I will not be oh. here next week, but you're okay. in good hands. You'll be in good hands, okay? Okay. Yes. I'll see you all mid-September. Okay. 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 To teach English and to uh, minister with the Assemblies of God Church, so that's what I'll be Excellent. doing there. <laughs> Is this? Are you going with a group of other people, or are you going I've, to join a group there? I'm going to go join a group there. I was invited. This will be my third time going. So, that's so cool. Could Thank you please? You. Yes. Bring back 
that. stories and pictures and share those with us because I'll be happy you know, this to. is all about you know communities that's that's our goal that's what we want we want to show these things right absolutely so it would be beautiful if you could do that. yeah i'll try my best <laughs> thank all right. you no, it's interesting because uh with equatorial guinea uh -huh. because it seems like you know i've watched videos and this and that and the other on there it seems like everybody here speaks at least two or three languages <laughs> yeah they do <laughs> french and english as well as spanish but yeah, yeah spanish is the official language but they're sandwiched between two nations that speak french and because of that influence people come oh. in and they speak french as well as english so yeah i was that you were invited how is i mean well? Well, I'm, I'm asking you because you say, oh, I was invited. That's so simple. Was, it's not. <laughs> I was, I, yeah, it definitely, oh gosh, I don't know how much time you have, but um, I've been doing. It's interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I've been doing uh, missionary work for, oh goodness, since 1992. And like for 27 years, I would go back and forth to Mexico every year um, as part of the ministry. And one of the challenges that was asked to us is to ask God to give you a nation. So meanwhile, you know, I'm studying Spanish. I studied in Spain. I minored in Spanish and I still, you know, didn't get a nation until when I came back from Spain, I was in a, a phonetics class and the professor was showing us on a map, all of the nations around the world where Spanish is spoken. And I almost uh -huh. tuned out because I thought I knew it all. Right. And he said one nation in Africa that was colonized by Spain. And I was like, oh. and, and you I went, <laughs> hold on, say that again. Right. One nation in Africa. Yeah. It's like, I'm like, oh, I never knew about that. And it's like, and at that point, my heart was touching. That was in 2005. So from that point, I started just doing research and praying for the nation and finding out what the needs are. And it took 16 years before I knew one person that knew a connection there. And then I was able to speak with that connection that during the pandemic, 2021, and they invited me to come for the first time then for two weeks. And then last year I went for two months and I'm invited again to come back this month, this year for two months. Where, where is it? Where, what are the nations around it? Um, Cameroon and Gabon. So it's in central West Africa. And it's right on the coast. Um, let me see. I have a globe. Let me see if I can try to show you. I'll, I'll put it up. I'll put it up. It's okay. Um, is it? Um, so I don't know how well you can see. Is it by Sierra Leone? Alexa, turn on um, the bedroom. Sierra Leone okay. is going to be um, <laughs> northeast of it. But it's uh, like. Um, okay. So, Okay, it's, he's gonna put uh, it up. Thank you, thank you, James. Okay, yeah, perfect. So oh, I found it. It's uh -huh. down there by. It's under. It's below um, Nigeria. Uh huh. And it's sandwiched between Cameroon in the north and Gabon uh -huh. in the south. It's like you kind of have to really go because it's a tiny, tiny little nation. And then there are five islands out in the ocean, and the most northern island is where the um capital is located malabo okay oh yeah he's getting it there you go perfect and that's where i'll be <laughs> wow. so yeah. now um that's is, do you consider it a safe place to go uh, you must well not really well, you know to be honest with you i i've really been blessed to have people there that really look out for me and take care of me so it you know i, I wouldn't try to do it if i didn't have people that were yeah um uh, yeah kind of like making sure that I'm safe so they so, don't let me just go places by myself unless you know someone is with me you know that type of a thing and, and mm -hmm. these people that you, you it is Spanish um English I mean um are they kids teenagers adults uh the people that I'm ministering with um, uh -huh. well they're they're adults um the guy is like he's like a superintendent which is kind of like a bishop over all of the churches um throughout the nation and he opens his doors to his home and I stay in an apartment above his home when I'm there. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah, thank uh, you. Can you just send, send me pictures? No. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, he and his wife don't speak English at all. So it really pushes me 
way, way, way beyond my comfort zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, um, but you know, as it was mentioned earlier, I think James had mentioned that people there speak like two or three languages. So whenever I do have to like minister at a church, there's usually someone that will interpret for me so I can do English because I don't feel confident to try to do a whole message in Spanish mm -hmm. yet. Not there you yet. Will. You will. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you. Uh, keep yeah. practicing. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's wonderful. phenomenal. That's what, oh, a, what, what a mission. So thank um, you so much. Uh, so mm -hmm. there's so many things, um, you know, for one of the things you can do is those people who are there who speak Spanish and want to speak English. Yes. Use the Connect app. Oh. We do we do have a free option. Okay. It's you the we, if the, finances are a problem, let me know. Okay. But, the only uh, problem we'll though, you. the only problem is that the internet is kind of spotty. It's not we have we haven't uh well yeah. Uh we do have an offline mode, but you still need an internet to to get in get, there, huh? Get the stuff. Okay. But okay. check it out. Like okay. if it works, if it works and you can get, there's an offline mode where okay. you, you can study something without doing an actual call with somebody. Um, mm. So if it's two people in the same room, there's okay. an offline mode. Um, yeah. And you could, you could build scenarios before you go. Okay. Right? Um, uh, if it's specific, say religious materials, Mm -hmm. um we can talk to you uh and potentially work something out with you so that we upload those so that you could see those in the connect app um okay. uh, we do have a, a feature where we can upload pages of books or wow. printed pages into the app um mm -hmm. so as the as part of the ministry you know we would try and support you um, but anyway, good job, you know. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And, and I can't thank you enough for this um, platform as well. This has been so beneficial. I know I oh, hit thanks. and miss quite a bit with all the other things I have going on, but this has been monumental. And I thank you all so much. Oh, thank you for too. coming. That's great. You're welcome. It's, uh, we have good people here. We have just a lot of good people <laughs> come here. This is great. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, everybody. Have a Adios. wonderful Wednesday. Adios. Gracias. Bendiciones todos. Adios. 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 Hasta pronto. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.